Hi guys, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to another Fursuit Friday video. So today's video is 10 tips for saving money at conventions. I try to go to multiple conventions every year, and it can get a little hefty on the wallet. But hopefully with these tips, you'll be able to ease the financial strain of attending conventions. Tip number one, if you're driving, carpool. Just by adding a few friends into your car, you can split the cost of gas, and that'll cut down a major expense on your travel. Plus, it's just more fun to have company while you're driving. But if you prefer to fly, tip number two is for you. Make sure you check your fees in addition to the ticket cost. My round trip flight to Midwest Fur Fest last year was about $129 plus like $25 in baggage fees. But I found a cheaper plane ticket from a different airline. The only problem with that was the baggage fees would have been like $50 to $100. So the plane ticket was cheaper, but the baggage would have made the overall trip more expensive. So just do a little bit of research before you book a flight and you'll be fine. Speaking of booking things, make sure you book in advance. If you do a little bit of planning ahead, you'll be able to save money on everything from your convention registration to your plane ticket. Sometimes you'll only save like $10 to $30 on a convention registration, but that's $10 to $30 you could use on something else. Like food. Food. And for the last bit of booking advice, here's tip number four. Book your hotel quickly. Typically a convention will have a deal with the local hotel to make sure that they have discounted room blocks for the attendees. The only thing is these discounted room blocks sell out incredibly quickly. When I was booking my hotel for Anthrocon this last year, the main hotel was actually sold out by the time I loaded the page. Now obviously this is kind of an extreme case because Anthrocon is a huge convention with lots of people who want to go. But it's always a smart idea to make your reservation as quickly as possible, especially when those discounted room blocks open. And speaking of hotel rooms, tip number five is to get a group together for your hotel. Now I'm not saying to cram 20 people in a hotel room. Believe me, I've tried it, it's not fun. But splitting it in a group of like four people significantly reduces the cost of your hotel room for the weekend. Plus, I actually have more fun staying in a convention with my friends. And now tip number six, don't go out to eat every night. One time I spent a convention eating at restaurants every single night, and it got incredibly expensive. So now my friends and I typically will go to a local grocery store or hit up a Walmart or something. Most conventions in larger cities should have some kind of convenience store within short distance. So grab a taxi or an Uber or a Lyft or something and go down to the grocery store. That way you can just stock up on provisions to eat throughout the weekend. Now me and my friends will still go out to eat once or twice during a weekend, but oh my gosh, I saved so much money not buying food from restaurants every night. So first thing when you get settled into your hotel room, go on a grocery run. And now tip number seven, avoid impulse buying. We've all been in that position where we look at something really cool at a convention and you're in the mood to go shopping in the dealer's den and you think to yourself, how much is it because I'm going to spend that money on it? That, my friend, might be an impulse buy. I've had so many times where I just have cash in hand and I really want to buy something, and an equal number of times I've been really happy I didn't buy something. But if I see something and I'm not 100% sure I want to buy it, then I usually wait till the next day. If I still want it after 24 hours, it's probably not an impulse buy. And now tip number eight, have a thorough packing list. Almost every time I go to a convention, someone in my group will forget something. Whether it's a belt for their fursuit tail or just some basic toiletries, that's money they could have spent at the convention. So make sure you have a thorough packing list to make sure you have everything you need for the weekend. And on the note of packing, tip number nine is to pack light. Some airlines can charge upwards of hundreds and hundreds of dollars for oversized or overweight bags. So when you're packing, try to limit the number of things you bring with you. Doing little things to compress the items in your bag, like rolling up your clothes, can save you a lot of space. So you spend less on the bags and spend more at the convention. And now, tip number 10, have a budget. I know, building a budget isn't the most fun thing in the world, but it's actually super useful, especially when money is tight. Typically, I'll divide my convention funds into three different categories, fun money, food money, and emergency money. If you set a cap for the amount of money you're allowed to spend on certain things, you're gonna be able to manage your funds a lot more easily. Plus, who knows, with the amount of money you save, you might be able to go to another convention. Well, thanks for watching 10 tips for saving money at conventions, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any tips that I didn't cover in this video for saving money at conventions, go ahead and leave them in a comment down below. Your comment could be really helpful for someone who's just getting started or trying to figure out ways they can afford to go to a convention. Also, if you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe down below or hit the little bell so you get notifications anytime I upload a new video. That's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox and I will see you all in the next video. Pssh.